Morning. <clears throat> right, uh, back to watercolours. I've been, uh, yesterday and today, I've been d doing a three parts Venice backwater in oils for Patreon. You'll see the, the finished uh, ex explanation, like trailer. Uh, but that's taking quite a bit of time. So, back to watercolour for you guys. Uh, no real idea of what I'm going to do. Just, oh, I've got a bit of... There's my, my Frank Clark brush. Right, I'll wet the paper all over. So, and I'll give it a bit of a wash with raw sienna. This doesn't hold as much as the Ron Manson hate. The, uh, Frank Clark one, but it's okay, it does different things. Uh, right, okay, so a bit of, bit of sienna. Let's get rid of my tray. Let's go rid of that. Okay, now. That's how I'm crossing here. While the paper is in this condition, you can work quite merrily around. This is a cheap studio paper, or well, relatively cheap. Get off, get off. Okay, do the sky. Um, let's have a bit of Payne's Grey and a bit of Illusion. Nothing too dramatic there. Very nice and nicely mixed. Get these layers of clouds. Then a bit of darker, darker one. I think. See that you don't need to spend a lot of time in your skies. Just put a little bit of a low cloud. Okay, clean the brush. Now, I've got a sort of a germ or a seed germinating in my, my head. Well, I should do this one, I'll try and do this one. These clips have got oil paint on them now, from where I held the board on the, the MDF board on to so this. Right, okay, let's, I'm going to mute, or we'll try to mute the sound. Uh, Gotta find it, yeah. Right, okay. Advanced settings. Done. There. Yeah. Now I think we're more or less muted, I hope we are. So I'm going to use the hair dryer now. So here we go. As you can see, you can't really take too many liberties with this paper. <coughs> that bit's okay. Right, let's uh, clean the palette. I want to put in some, like a country track. A little track. There was a fabulous, well, the, on the iPlayer, the BBC4, called This Green and Pleasant Land. It's about the history of landscape painting in Britain <coughs> going back to when when the landscape wasn't just a backdrop to a, uh, a Greek tragedy or Greek scene but it's an absolute gem 
It's on, it's to, I think the series is called Time Watch. Or time, yeah, time, time Watch. Or Time Shift. Time Shift. There's also one on the history of uh, the docks in uh, GB, you know, in Hull and Felixstowe and London, Cardiff. Some wonderful stuff if you look for it. All right, but this are painting ones I love. Let's just get a bit of, a bit of this. I do love burnt sienna, but mixing it with other stuff. So. I'll put a track down the middle. Put some green in there now. The thing I do like about this particular brush is that you get some nice, uh, you get some nice um, grasses with it. But I don't really want grass detailed yet. A little bit of sparkle. I'm going to put in some nice darks now. Right. This here, isn't it? Just a rough country track, let's put it in. Well, I'll put it in a minute. <coughs> Quiet dogs. I went past my neighbour's house along the road to get my newspaper. And they've got five miniature doodles, lovely dogs, but the noise they make. Oh, I hate to live next door to them. They will have me spitting blood, I tell you. I'll put some background in as well. So let that dry. Might even put some puddles in. Still having fun with the with the hike. No. A bit more yellow there. It's all around the edges of my paths. Okay, let me put a bit of background in. So a little bit of bit of bit, bit of ultra. Bit of grey. Don't want to be too symmetrical with it. Right, I'll put a bit of warm colour in that. A bit of burnt sienna, a bit of yellow. Okay, that's the distance. When that dries, oh, yeah, don't again. I forgot to unmute it. I hope you heard all that. Heavy night last night. Okay. I 
I'm going to use my Rob Manson hake to put in some trees. Uh, so some burn umber and some paint as uh, some ultramarine. Well, actually, I, I, I do like a greeny cast to my to my trunks. Sort of hedge valley. Some bushy sort of stuff in, bit of bit of this, bit of that. <coughs> okay, do, do the other side, a stronger one, the other side. We go work on this. Ah. Oh, I'm a bit dark in there. Shadow. Okay, I'm just waiting for these to dry. So I don't really want to mute it again and find that I forget to unmute. So a bit of a bit of blue and uh, 
Right, okay, let's uh, put the uh, bit of that uh, reflection in, a bit of, bit of grey, a bit of blue. Not a lot. A little bit of sky, just. Okay, that'll do. <coughs> For that, uh, how are those trees doing? I can put some sort of autumn leaves on. A little bit light red. Dark on the other side of the shadow. I'll finish that with the rigger. Bit of water in there just to catch the light, and a bit of darker the umber. Down there. Okay, same on the other side. Bit of dark. Oh, not that dark. All right, bit of raw sienna now. Too much water on the brush. You do a bit of rigor work, a bit of fine rigor work. Just uh, Plains Grey and Burnt Sienna, my favourite combination. Okay, put on the other side. See the strains going back to watercolour after a couple of days with the oils. Right, just a little flick and flourish. Lovely brush, this uh, little rigger. Right, people brush. And when you finish with your brushes, shape them. Uh, it, 
to be these. No, we don't need to pick a letter, we'll put a bird in. As I fly a bird. Oops. Doom. Right, sorry, I'll put a mount on it and have a have a look. Brushes. Right, okay. Got a bit of masking tape. Well, I've been up in the studio for nearly three hours. Don't get much pay for that. Uh, right now, it's simply this one, light coloured mount. Yeah. Put a clip on it. Okay, folks. Well, I don't think that looks bad. It's quite colourful. I, I think the, the exposure is okay. Now let's just take the brightness down a touch. Might see the colours a bit better. Yeah, that's, that's pretty good. A bit more. Uh, quite like this one. Uh, white balance is alright. And the colour intensity. Oh, yeah, that's better, isn't it? That's a light up. Yeah, I, I, I'm quite pleased with that uh, picture. So I hope you are. Sorry if you didn't hear all of my commentary because I've got to unmute. It's a real problem remembering. Right, okay folks, thanks for watching. See you soon.